Hi and welcome. Today we're gonna talk about Frontier Star Coral. She is a great, she's a G unit grade 4 triple drive, 15,000 plus, one critical Bermuda Triangle. Um, and the artwork on this card is amazing by the way. I really love the artwork on this card. And of course it's gonna be awesome in triple rare as well. So it's going to be really good, really good looking. I really like the artwork. I always liked uh, Coral. She always has some really amazing artwork. So this is awesome. Her singing voice will always bring more fans generation after generation. Well, I, I, I do believe that Coral has a lot of star potential. And you can clearly see in this artwork she has a lot of star potential. And her flavor text is not bad either. Amazing artwork, amazing flavor text. So let's go over the effect. VC. Counterblast 1 shoots a face down card from each unit turned face up. Okay. When this unit attacks, you pay the cost. Yes. If you do soul shards 1, choose up to the same number of uh, your rear guards as the number of cards in your soul with coral in its card name. Okay. And return them to your hand. Okay. This unit gets power plus 5000 for each unit returned with this effect until the end of turn. If this, if the number of face up cards named Frontier Star Coral in your G zone is two or more, draw a card, choose up to two cards from your hand and call them to separate RCs. This card is really good, really good. Basically, you can turn, for example, you can turn, you can turn any card face up from your G zone, but you should probably turn another copy of this card face up. So you can actually get two of them face up uh, during during your second stride, and then you just soul charge one, choose up to the, and then you choose uh, up to the number of rear guards as say, uh, and then you choose up to the same number of rear guards as the number of cards in your soul with coral in the card name. So if you have like two, you choose two rear guards, and then you return to your hand, and this unit gets plus five thousand for each. It can get a lot of power. You can get like plus five thousand k. So it can become like plus 10k and stuff like that. So it can be really ridiculous when you can power it up like that. And and it's only until the end of turn, of course. And if you have a face up cards named Frontier Star Coral in your Yeast Zone, and then and there are two or more, you can draw a card and then you can call two cards to separate RC. So even if you do return them, you can call them back during your second stride. During your first stride you can't really do that, but during your second stride you can definitely use the second part of the effect because then you will have two face up. So say that you uh, called, you, you, you stride this unit, you flip up another copy of her in your Yi zone and then at the end of this stride this goes face up in Yi zone, you're gonna have two face up so next time you can just stride her again and then you can flip something else because you don't have to flip necessarily her face up. So there are some tech, some technique you can use with this card to make it really good. I think this card is amazing. Artwork is completely amazing. The flavor text is amazing, and the effect is amazing. I'm definitely, I definitely want to build a deck around this because I think this card is really, really powerful. But what do you think about this card? Do you think this card is powerful? I think this card has potential of really being a solid card that can really do some damage and can really do some crazy stuff. Oh, please tell me what you think about this card. Um, do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I think it's amazing in every sense. The artwork, the flavor text, the effect, everything is amazing. And, and, and as always, comment, like, and subscribe.